Okay, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode, of the Flying Cat Marketing Interview Series. Today I have Andrea Scarica, growth marketing growth marketing manager at Mixmax, which is a fast growth sales engagement tool. Uh, and I'm really excited to have Andrea on today. How's it going, Andrea? Hi, all good. I happy to be here. Yes, uh, and I'm very excited to have you on. Today we're going to talk about Mixmax case study, um, combining subject matter expertise with an SEO framework for predictable growth. Um, so tell me, tell me, Andrea, a little bit about just the background at at Mixmax, uh, the software, and, and what was going on in terms of marketing before you joined. Yeah, so I joined uh, a little bit. Uh, over a year, almost year and a half ago. And uh, I joined actually as the first marketeer after a COVID pause. Um, and when I arrived, um, I mean, Mixmax is a product-led growth company. Uh, so in terms of marketing, uh, there were quite a lot of things uh, that were already done, uh, but we haven't seen such great uh, SEO results. Um, uh, so, so yeah, um, when I arrived, since I also had quite a small budget, it was given up to me, okay, so what are you going to do to improve our growth organically rather than investing in paid? And uh, I decided that because we had a bit of... Um, a good good background uh, in terms of we had a lot of uh, users that loved us. Um, we had an amazing product, and uh, I wanted to focus on on building a long term strategy rather than focusing on short term uh, paid um, strategies. So so yeah, I decided okay, let's go and uh, build a content strategy backed by SEO. Uh, so um, at that time, uh, the state of our SEO was that uh, even though we had a very good uh, domain uh, authority, uh, it's mostly due to because users love our product and then they would write a lot about it, uh, recommend did for free uh, on their blogs and everything. Uh, and then also we had an engineering blog, which was also doing great. It was basically a way for our engineering team to attract more talent. But uh, we weren't actually ranking for any sales um, related queries, which was important because um, that's our target audience. Uh, so what I wanted to do was really increase and improve our SEO profile and specifically increase um, the sales related uh, keywords and as well really create content our, our, our ideal customer profile would enjoy reading um, and define our tone of voice. So yeah, that's, that was where, that was what I wanted to do. And even before I joined Mixmax, um, I, I already saw you around uh, on social, like even on Facebook and on LinkedIn. So I before I even decided this was going to be the project, I already knew who I wanted to work with or basically at least who I wanted to reach out to. And, and that's how it, it started, actually. Yeah, so we have enjoyed working with uh, with Mixmax, and I'm really excited to talk about this case study today. And you know, it's really interesting that you the way that you said it was I wanted a content strategy distributed through SEO um, because I know that for you it's really important to have this kind of thought leadership content or content that's super valuable, super useful, and really that the quality and the engagement that users have with it, that your ICP, which are our salespeople uh, and sales directors even, have is really, really important. And so finding that middle ground <laughs> between let's make it SEO optimized, let's actually build an SEO strategy around this, but focus on the content strategy more than just 
getting traffic, but also getting that re those really important kind of numbers going. Um, yeah, it's it's tough to find that middle ground sometimes. Yeah, but I will <clears throat> I will explain. So I mean, before Mixmax, I actually owned a online marketing agency, and we were specializing in content marketing. But I always felt that we were missing a bit more expertise when it comes to SEO. And this is exactly the content that I saw from you on uh, LinkedIn, or as Chris Walker likes to call it, dark social. So yeah, that was the reason I wanted to reach out, but I definitely didn't wanna give up or compromise on the content quality because this, so from my background, I mean, this is something that I've always been strong. Uh, and so, yeah, I wanted to build uh, thought leadership content distributed through SEO as well as on social. So let's talk about the results that we were able to achieve through organic content. What are, what yeah. are the ones that stood out to you the most? I mean, I just recently prepared a presentation for our reply all, so I have... Uh, <laughs> quite some numbers um so when it comes to the keywords um basically when when we started uh in september uh, uh last year so um let's say we were ranking for only seven uh keywords on on page one from position one to three and only six keywords uh from position four to ten so the first positions from one to three, we were able to increase for 414%. And the ones from four to 10, we increased it to 145. So that's like for 2,300%. Uh, wow. And yeah, and what's, what's very important is that all of those keywords were uh, picked, uh, handpicked so very carefully also through the collaboration with our sales team. So we really worked on content, uh, more like bottom of the funnel, middle of the funnel, that is gonna uh, drive sales results and, and really uh, attract um, relevant uh, leads or ideal customer profile for us. And then, yeah, yeah that's, that's, yeah, tell me. No, sorry, go ahead. And, I'll, I'll make a comment after. I mean, that was the that was the first KPI, so keywords. Um, and then in, in SERPs, like I wanted to also maybe single out some of, some of those. So as, yeah, Mixmax is a sales engagement platform, so our space is very competitive. There, there's lots of, some somebody even calls us like sequencers. We, we're a lot more than that, but yeah, it's a very competitive space. Um, and then... Be, being able to rank on page one for some of our top competitors uh, was a great way also to get get uh, customers that are not uh, happy with their products anymore and present ourselves as uh, the top alternative. So we, we are ranking on page one for outreach alternatives, for sales loft alternatives. And then some of the other ones are like email sequence software, um, even best sales engagement platforms. So the, these were like super important milestones that we were able to achieve um, thanks to this combination of, of, of really strategic SEO and really um, high quality content uh, that our sales team had direct impact on with their advice. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is really important. Um, oh, you have some more to share. I mean, yeah, I have like a lot of KPIs. So basically also traffic, like uh, organic traffic really grew a lot. So um, in session, it was an increase of 548%. Um, and, and what's really important throughout the whole period, uh, it was really like consistent growth. So it, it's not like a flat curve. It's really all growing all the time. 
And then, yeah, like some of other achievements are basically uh, related to quality. So as I mentioned a couple of times that this was super important for us, we got recognition from some of the top uh, sales industry influencers that the the content is really amazing. And some of those influencers also have been sharing it on their LinkedIn. So that's been super helpful and also a way to distribute it. And then uh, when it comes to conversions, um, so we even had like uh, some demo requests directly from the blog, like up to 10 or something like that. But what I would um, like to maybe, okay, maybe people aren't going to, um, I mean, maybe they are just not going to uh, request a demo because they read a blog, but it will contribute to them requesting a demo. So when we looked at uh, assisted demo request conversions, uh, also the growth uh, was insane. Like basically it was from zero to a thousand four hundred seven. So so, yeah, that's that's it's been awesome to see that. Um, that that growth and that it really um the effort turned into results i i have to say like it's going to take also a bit more time to see really revenue and we want to see that and we're tracking it uh but yeah uh we're in the perfect place to see it so on page one what i love about collaborating with you is that from the beginning you were like our salespeople have to be a part of this process. And it's not just to have sales and marketing alignment, but actually in this case, the salespeople are also ICP. So they're understanding the pain points. They're understanding what's relevant, what's not relevant. So we do keyword research. We say this is the path to take, but actually we need to work with, talk to the customers who are also the same people as your salespeople, which is very nice and juicy combination to have uh but just really refining the topics that we're going after and the the yeah. concepts that that we're talking about within the pieces themselves i mean definitely like all of the content planning was done uh through consulting with your seo strategist and our sales team so um how let's say the sales team would say which topics are the most relevant uh, or more m most interesting to talk about and how marketing would adjust that content plan. We would go a bit more, focus it on more bottom of the funnel keywords because we knew that um, we wanted conversions and revenue. So we... We, we didn't always go for the most interesting topic, which for salespeople is usually always discovery and quantification. And But those topics are um, like top of the funnel. So sometimes, yes, would, we would indulge them, but we were also uh, focusing a lot on the bottom of the funnel topics, such as the competitor um, alternatives, blogs and stuff like that. Yeah, it is really interesting in SEO to look at it holistically and to have these kind of touch on the different parts of the funnel, the parts that we really like to talk about, this sexy kind of content, but that kind of content doesn't necessarily drive assisted so many assisted conversions or demo requests or, or revenue while that bottom of the funnel content is really important to have. So you mentioned uh, earlier that building this tone of voice that resonated with your ICP was key to you, super important. And we worked really hard on developing and, and nailing this tone of voice down. So um, why, why do you think that it's so important? I mean, I was even joking. Like, I would always say, like, I know I'm a pain in the ass, but this is super important. <laughs> we need to get it right. Um, because, like, our, our ideal customer profile uh, I mean, we're happy to have a very entertaining ideal customer profile. So they're, they love to joke around. So they have a uh, hard every day when they're getting rejected a lot, uh, especially the SDRs, or sometimes they need to chase their prospects and it's not, and they're ghosting them. And how they're, how they chose to deal with it is basically through fun uh, content. And I think the person that maybe, I'm not sure if he started it, but Corporate Bro is like the 
the influencer of the sales world and uh, and and he portrays their daily life in a very good way and they love it so basically they are super ent entertained by that type of content there are a lot of other influencers like that so what i really wanted to do is okay i wanted to make our content entertaining as well i didn't want it to be just valuable i mean i know that was important and i think that was the first thing we got right um through the content from our sales team and everything but I wanted you to go the extra mile and really on top of it, like present it in a, present their problems in a creative way to even make them laugh. And I think, I mean, maybe mm -hmm. if you want to share, this is when even when you jumped in and, um, and, and the, uh, perfectly did what I wanted to because maybe I was having trouble like communicating how I wanted specifically so so yeah and from that moment our every intro is entertaining and um and how it should be to to not just provide value to our ICP but also make them laugh it is so important as well to be entertaining in this space because we're talking about sales. It's something that a lot of companies talk about. Uh, and yes, you also want to, you want to provide value, but there are still a lot of other companies providing value as well. So finding that kind of extra thing, what else do we provide and making it fun and funny and entertaining as well is a nice little cherry on top. I mean, it was also a way to, uh, to be different from the competition so specifically yeah. uh, outreach with all the respect i i do love their branding and everything product but they're they're focused more on the enterprise companies so their approach is a lot more enterprisey not not as fun uh and this and and sometimes the mistakes our icp does which is like a bit smaller companies uh they they go for outreach because they're number one uh the market leader even though they shouldn't like they they they're just making a bad investment uh there because they're paying something that not they won't need to use they're paying a beast so in, or, in order to really attract them uh we wanted to also sound different and so, so this is why, like, tone of voice uh, was also super important to really uh, position ourselves in a different way from our competitors. Yeah, definitely. And it, so another thing that we did together that we touched upon briefly, but I'd love to talk about how we built it together was this subject matter expert process to make sure that we're getting the right kind of information in there. Because at the end of the day, marketers are marketers. Uh, that's their expertise. And it's really hard to find a subject matter expert who's also a great writer, who also knows how to optimize for search and all of those kind of things. So what we opt for and now is part of our process at Flying Cat Marketing is working with the subject matter experts um, to get their insights in. So tell yeah tell us let's talk about how we how we built that process together yeah so when we started you you just okay we defined the topics and then you were like okay we're gonna write it and I'm like you're gonna write it on your own how are you gonna write it on your own okay well let's see uh, you go for it uh but then yeah the results were really i mean the content really wasn't what we wanted it to be um and and also, like, we do have very opinionated sales team. Um, so we didn't want to just write something, you know, blah, like, I don't know. Uh, so it was very important to me, like, I was like, okay, no, we, before you write um, any piece of content, you really need to, okay, prepare the questions and talk to our sales team. So this is something that I mean. I did before in my agency always. It was actually even an easier way for us to write content because we would just interview subject matter experts and put it in a blog. But now I also realize, okay, that's the only way to go because otherwise, you know, you're maybe just copying what everybody else is saying on page yeah. one and then all of the blogs just sound the same and blah. So, and they're not interesting to read. So yeah, so this is where we implemented 
the sales team. So as I mentioned before, like first we got the value right. Uh, and even sometimes like in the beginning, I didn't have access to the writer. Uh, and I, I didn't like that I couldn't like give direct feedback. It just didn't make sense that I have to explain it. Okay, also to the editor and then the, so things get lost. So for me, it was important that I can directly communicate with the writer and guide them to make it really as I want it to be. Um, so since we changed all of these steps, uh, like the quality of the content significantly improved, you really you knew immediately like how we wanted to be presented what were our opinions about certain topics which were not like popular opinions you know like they put the on linkedin unpopular opinion so yeah we had a lot of those so um it, it was important to let our uh, sales team be heard and um, and what was also good because salespeople really like to talk so it's not that you know our ICP was I don't know engineers or lawyers or whoever wouldn't like to talk like the sales team really wants to um, share what they think about everything so uh, that really helped and, and they were always like also very direct giving us like such great ways to present also us against the competition, uh, present like even some steps or guides how to choose a product. Because as I mentioned before, like usually companies do it in the wrong way. They just go and choose the market leader instead of choosing the right software for them. So mm -hmm. we, we actually had the sales team really guide us and really, as since they understand the sales process and the mistakes prospects uh, and buyers make on that journey, uh, they helped us really put in written and guide them uh, what would be the right way to buy um, specifically our software, so sales engagement platform. It was really night and day since we started combining inviting the SMEs into the process and also uh, giving you full access to the writers and the content team and just having all of this flow of communication. And down the line, we also started including influencer content uh, in the content that we were creating for Mixmax, which was really cool because these same influencers started sharing that content as well. And we got this really cool insight. Um, and I know that this was also really important to you. Can you walk us through a little bit how that works i mean yeah linkedin is as i mentioned this is where i found you so this i i basically learn everything on linkedin also for myself so marketing content and i it's where i check out and learn about our icp as well so this the sellers both the sdrs the aes sales leaders and customer success managers so and and as today linkedin is such a platform where they're really sharing all of their problems and solutions for me it was also the best place to get like uh the latest tips uh yeah. to make them successful and there are a lot of great content creators on linkedin and i just also wanted to build relationships with them i also wanted them to know mix max and our software so um so this was a great way basically combining their knowledge and then helping our ICP find that knowledge and be more successful, but also sharing their content and then later them sharing our content. So it was a win-win all around. And, um, and, and yeah, and even some of those influencers are customers uh, such as Gong. So, so yeah, it was just amazing to see uh, them, them sharing it. And, and another way, because I was always mentioning, yeah, how the tone of voice and being funny is also important since they are very funny usually uh then it was also easy easier to implement that yeah. uh, as well in the content 
Yeah, they those people from those brands. I mean, those brands in general have a pretty light tone of voice, and they're funny. Gong is always using memes and those kind of things, and it seems to really resonate. And what I love about this whole plan is some of this kind of approaches that we took together is not very standard for SEO content because you would think, okay, SEO is this one thing and getting influencers involved, getting them to share it on social media, those kind of things, that's a different kind of content, but actually it can and should be one and the same. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, definitely. I mean, they, they were the number one also validation that our content was good and valuable to read for others. So so yeah and it always like usually the challenge with content is distributing it and and this was another way um to help with distribution so it it was great i mean we also did like implement a lot of other software that are also um, that's also amazing software in our space and then they would also share our article and it's also great because this is how we build relationships with some of those influencers that work there. So it's also, you know, building a community um, that helps one another. So it's, I think it's just a win for everyone and especially yeah. for for the ICP in the end because they get to discover a great new software today and also learn a lot about how they should use it to be successful at their job. Love it. Well, this feels like a good place to wrap up this episode. Andrea, thank you so much for sharing your experience. It's been really lovely talking to you about it again and kind of reflecting on on everything that Mix yeah. Max was able to achieve. Yeah, um, no, if thank people you. want to connect with you and talk to you more, yeah, uh, where's the where's the best place for people to connect with you on LinkedIn? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I think it's obvious. <laughs> I've been mentioning so much. Yes, yeah, so yeah. definitely, if you want to reach out, that's the best place. I mean, you can also reach out to my email, but it has to be really personalized and nice for me to answer. But no, no, I, I will, I will try. Uh, read our blogs to get it right to us. So, so yeah, no, reach out on LinkedIn. I'm happy to connect. Love it. Okay. Well, if you enjoyed this episode. Uh, Leave us a comment below. Let us know that you're watching. Connect with Andrea. And thanks again for watching and listening. See you next time. And that's the end of the podcast right there. Hope you enjoyed the episode. But please don't go just yet. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave us a review on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It'll help other people like you discover us and get the same insights. And it would really help us out a lot. Um, thank you for being a loyal flying cat and for listening. See you next time.